folks, Electric Jen here. Now, I wanted to use some real world data to discuss with you one of the most common questions that Tesla owners get. And that is, how long does it take to charge? And of course, you and I know that that depends on a number of things, including where you're starting charge from and where you intend to charge to, meaning, are you starting at zero and charging to 100? Very, very unlikely. Are you just replenishing your daily drive? Are you using a 110 volt outlet, your bigger 220, 240 type thing like you might have at home, or are you using a supercharger. So this particular video is gonna be about a recent supercharging trip my husband and I took from Philadelphia to Montreal and what the actual charge times were for that trip. Now, you'll excuse me, I'm gonna look down at my phone once in a while for the notes on this, but I wanted to give you exact data on how long it took us to charge on that trip. Um, keep in mind that I prefer, so does my husband, to charge more frequently for shorter periods of time. And the route from here to almost anywhere now, from Philadelphia to about anywhere, has so many superchargers that we have that option. So, to start, bright and early, no, it wasn't even bright yet, it was dark. It was um, October, so sort of mild, maybe a little bit cool weather. We left our house, probably close to 100% uh, because we knew we were going on a trip, but we drove to Music, Pennsylvania, near Scranton, plugged in at 7.31 a.m., and unplugged at 7.47. The reason that we were even there that long is because we were waiting for my father-in-law to meet us to pick up our dog to dog sit while we were traveling. So, then we got to Newburgh, New York. We arrived with only 34 miles of range. That's because, you know, we started here, I don't even know if we were full, maybe we forgot to go full, maybe we were 90% or something. Um, again, went to Music, which is probably 100, 110 miles from here. And then Newburgh, New York was however far. But anyway, we arrived there with 34 miles of range at 9.15 a.m. We charged to just 76 miles because that's all we needed to get to the next place. So it was essentially a restroom stop at a gas station, and we refilled our water bottles, which we always travel with, you know, plastic bottles, not, not disposables, the kind that we use regularly and a giant like two gallon Coleman jug in the back seat floor that's filled with, I guess it's two gallons, so ice and water usually lasts us two days on a road trip. So anyway, so at Newburgh, New York, we started with 34 miles of charge, ended with 76, and we were there for exactly 10 minutes from 9.15 to 9.25. Kingston, New York. We arrived and plugged in at 10.05 a.m. with 41 miles. We washed the windows because it was at an actual gas station, use the restroom. We left at 1014, so that was nine minutes later with 91 miles of range. Gilderland, New York, which was this big, huge 20 stall, biggest place that I've ever been in terms of number of stalls, at a mall. We arrived at 1110 with maybe like 31 miles of, of range on the car, and we made this a longer stop where we knew that we were going to eat and maybe shop, so we kind of knew that it was okay to charge to fewer miles on the previous visits because again, we knew this would be a longer stop and it would be time to eat. So we got there at 1110. We unplugged at 1151 with 197 miles. The mall food court was pretty far away from the chargers so it actually took a long time to walk to. So as is very frequently the case, our stop, what we decided to do, uh, eating and using restroom took longer than the car. Like we didn't need to charge to 197, but we did. And that was quite fine because we were doing what we were doing. So we unplugged 41 minutes later with 197. We then got to Queensbury, New York at 12.37 p.m. And it took quite a while to walk to the restroom, so we charged much longer than we actually needed to. We didn't technically need any, so we unplugged uh, 37 to 54, you know, like some odd minutes. 17 minutes later with 197, so you know, that was a nice top off. So we're back up pretty high, almost 200 miles. Plattsburgh, New York was next. Arrived and plugged in at 2.39 p.m. with 83 miles. So that was a long stretch, but again, we didn't really need 197 to start. So we used a restroom quickly and we fished out our passports. We didn't actually need a charge to get to the next charger, but again, restroom stop. We would much prefer to stop more frequently for a few minutes at a time. That's why you're not really tying up the supercharger should one get busy. So we unplugged 11 minutes later with 133 miles. So that was a gain of like 50. And um, where was next? Brassard. Brassard was near Montreal, yeah, in Quebec. So we got there at 4.02 p.m. with 73 miles. It was at 
sort of an outdoorish mall, you know, like not the kind that's in a building, but it did take a little bit to identify a restroom. So we stopped there with 73 miles. We unplugged 14 minutes later and had 142 miles. So you can sort of see a pattern, and I'm going to try to capture this data at the end for the video to, you know, because just listening, I'm sure you're not catching it, but essentially, you know, 15 minutes is probably the average of most of our charges. So we visited three charges while we were in Montreal just for fun and left our room to come home with about 150 left of range. So on the return trip, we went to South Burlington, Vermont, pulling it at 916 with just 27 miles left. We did a restroom break and considered buying pumpkins at Trader Joe's because it was near Halloween. And we unplugged 22 minutes later with 131 range. Went to Berlin, Vermont. With, got there with 80, left with 131, so gain of 51 in just 10 minutes. West Lebanon, New Hampshire, arrived at 1121 with 74. We made that a lunch stop. So again, when you know you're going to have one longer stop, you know, charge quicker at the previous ones because you'll make up for it. And unfortunately, and we've had this experience before in West Lebanon, the Panera was super slow. First off, you're walking a little, you know, quite a ways across a not very pedestrian-friendly parking lot. But man, we didn't get our food in. We didn't even get our food until 25 minutes after we plugged in. So we unplugged, um, gosh, 40 minutes later. And the, the range was at 217. So we didn't need nearly that much. But, you know, it's okay. Because then Brattleboro, Vermont, which we didn't really need to stop at, we arrived at 103 with 137, unplugged at 111. So we were literally there for eight minutes, which was how long it took us to use a restroom. And we pulled out with 167 miles of range. West Springfield, which was in Massachusetts, yeah, plugged in at 206 with 106 miles. We figured out our route because we had a couple different options, used a quick restroom at a Costco, and unplugged it to 22. So that was 16 minutes later with 172 miles. Did West Hartford, plugged in for a whopping 12 miles, went from 132 to 175. Again, a little more planning our route and, as always, using the restroom. Tarrytown, New York, plugged in 459 with 75 miles. We ate some dinner there. So we were actually there for 32 minutes, which is one of our longer stops, and unplugged with 196. Burlington, New Jersey. This is my favorite. It's our now nearest supercharger, and we had never been there, and it's at a Wawa. And if you know anything about, you know, Philadelphia, Wawa we love. It's a, a convenience store, and it's one of the best, and it's better than Cheats. Look it up. There's proof. We were there for literally four minutes. We plugged in at 7.43. Because it was in the convenience store parking lot, using a restroom took just seconds. Unplugged four minutes later and had gained 19 miles. You know, it was off to, I guess, a, a little bit of a slow start. But we did it and had 99 to go. And we were only, I don't know, 30 miles from home. So plenty to go. Moral of the story, when you're on a long road trip, if you like or don't mind stopping at every charger along the way, which is how I prefer to travel, then you really can charge for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, and then make your longer trips the ones that you know you want to eat at. So that's it. I wanted to share with you some real world data. Hopefully I can figure out how to put this onto something that I can transpose onto the end of the video. And if I can't, I'll put it in the description. That's probably a better idea because I don't know how to edit. But anyway, thanks for listening and answer to the age old question. How long does it take to charge in the superchargers? Not so long. You can pretty much walk to a restroom and back and be ready to move. So that's it. Thanks for watching.